The SCP Foundation contains and studies thousands of anomalies and because of this they need a lot of security and research personnel and of course many of these scientists have interesting origins and some of them are even anomalous. In this video we explore the top 5 SCP doctors and researchers. Number 5. Dr. Clef Otto Clef came to the attention of the agency after he published a research paper which described an item resembling an existing SCP. As such, he was contacted by the foundation, but when the O5 Council saw how competent he is, they offered him a job instead of terminating him. Once on duty, Clef quickly earned a reputation for being swift, elegant, and surgically precise when it comes to terminating SCP. As such, he was promoted to the head of training and development, a department which trains Foundation field agents. However, it was soon realized that Clef's ability to terminate SCPs was no coincidence, because he was in fact a former member of the GOC, a group of interest which focuses on destroying anomalies. Also, it is known that the name Otto Clef is not real, and Clef himself has stated that that his real name is that of an A major chord played on a ukulele, which he carries around with him at all times. Furthermore, Clef is very good at dealing with reality benders, to the point when he even wrote a book about them. However, this is also not a coincidence, because Dr. Clef is actually a reality bender himself. For example, it is impossible to properly photograph his face as it is always swapped with the face of a random animal. But still, it is known that Clef has three eyes, one green, one blue and one hazel. Also, many people believe that Dr. Clef has had an interaction with SCP-336, also known as Lilith, and that the two have a child, namely SCP-166. And finally, Finally, in various documents, it is hinted that Clef is related to the Abrahamic religions, and he himself has implied that he is the literal devil. However, Clef is also a pathological liar, so we can't really draw a conclusion. In any case, Otto Clef is definitely one of the most interesting and mysterious researchers. Number 4. Dr. Gears Charles Gears is a veteran of the Foundation because he joined the agency shortly after it was founded. It is unknown exactly how he impressed the O5 Council to the point when he was offered a job, but nonetheless, he was recruited into the research department of Site-19. In contrast to Dr. Clef, who is highly anomalous, Gears seems to be an ordinary human. However, he does not appear to possess emotions or even a fight or flight reflex. For example, during an experiment, he became partially blind and even began to bleed profusely, but despite of this, he requested for the testing to finish and then walked to the medical ward on his own after the experiment. As such, he is widely believed to be a robot or even an SCP, though Gears himself states that he is just good on under pressure. Nonetheless, his no-nonsense attitude and his willingness to complete any experiment helped him rise up the ranks very quickly. As such, he became the director of Euclid-level containment at Site-19. Also, Gears has been involved with a shocking number of anomalies and he has researched more than 40 SCPs. Also, Gears's philosophy regarding anomalies is very interesting because instead of believing that SCPs actively want to harm humans, Dr. Gears believes that this is just their nature, and this philosophy even attracted the attention of the O5, and a council member asked for a private explanation. So as we see, Dr. Gears is definitely a figure of great influence within the foundation. As such, he definitely deserves to be on this list. 
Number 3. Researcher Talleran James Talleran was an experienced level 3 researcher that worked on multiple Keter class objects. He was known for his professionalism and loyalty, and he was very good at his job. However, not much else is known about researcher Talleran, apart from the fact that one day he mysteriously disappeared. However, during a routine inspection of Site 118, his body was discovered in the containment chamber of SCP-3999, and to the Foundation's surprise, no records of such an anomaly and such a containment chamber existed. Also, the four guards that had been assigned to this SCP had significant memory loss and could not reveal anything about the anomaly. But apart from Talleran's body, a note that he had written was also discovered. Using the document, it was determined that he had been assigned to SCP-3999, an anomaly which possessed significant reality warping properties. This entity breached containment at some point, destroyed reality as we know it, causing a ZK class end of reality event, and then rebuilt the universe around researcher Talleran with the sole purpose of tormenting him. For example, one way in which he was abused consisted in his entire family being in front of him. The bodies were then outside of his office and while he was forced to watch. And according to the note, this inhumane treatment continued for millions of years before researcher Talleran found a way to destroy SCP-3999, but at the cost of his own life. Not much more is known about the anomaly, but according to a very popular theory, the SCP was created by researcher Talleran himself when he unwillingly altered the past. However, the researcher realized this and took his own life, which destroyed the anomaly using the grandfather paradox. And having defeated SCP-3999, reality reverted to its original state. So, as we see, even though Talleran likely created SCP-3999, he also destroyed it. And if it hadn't been for his sacrifice, the world as we know it wouldn't even exist. Number 2. Dr. Kondraki Blunt, antisocial, and not a fan of lab coats, Dr. Kondraki is a researcher working at Site 17. He joined the Foundation at age 35, starting as a low-level researcher with little prospect of promotion. However, he was a master photographer, and this ability quickly proved useful, because he spent lots of time accompanying field agents, photographing and documenting new findings. And after the successful discovery and containment of SCP-408, Kondraki was promoted to level 3. As such, he is often commissioned with photographing various SCPs, including objects which are imperceivable to the human eye. However, in contrast to his harmless assignments, Kondraki is an avid supporter of SCP weaponization, and he has led the development of 33 SCP weapons. Also, during the discovery of SCP-408, Kondraki developed a unique relationship with this anomaly and ever since, he keeps a hive of butterflies around him, which he can control using his mind. But most notably, Kondraki is known for a specific SCP test which became very dangerous. On one occasion, Kondraki was supposed to terminate SCP-083-D, which is a male that becomes aggressive if he hasn't consumed a human every 12 hours. And during this termination attempt, things went wrong, and 083 began to chase Kondraki through the facility while the doctor defended himself using the various SCP weapons he has made. This incident is very interesting, but it is also very long, so we will have to explore it in detail in another video. But long story short, Kondraki ends up on SCP-682's back, and the doctor rides the reptile as it is running around the facility, and a 
of course, having utilized SCPs without permission and having written on SCP-682's back, the O5 Council did not appreciate Kondraki's behavior in the slightest. As such, many people believe that he was assassinated, but in any case, Kondraki's antics are more than enough to make him a part of the most interesting researchers in the Foundation. Number 1. Dr. Bright Let's be honest, we all saw this one coming. Dr. Bright is one of the most famous SCP researchers, and for good reason. Because thanks to his amulet, code SCP-963, Dr. Bright is effectively immortal. His amulet was discovered in an apartment where a cultist had performed a ritual and had taken his own life. Dr. Bright was then assigned to SCP-963 and was carrying it across the facility when SCP-076 breached containment and terminated the doctor. However, as a D-Class was cleaning the site, he discovered the amulet and when he touched it, the consciousness of Dr. Bright took over the body and it was soon discovered that this effect was permanent and every time the host of Dr. Bright expires, the next person that touches the amulet turns into the doctor. And finally, if a host keeps SCP-963 for more than 30 days, he will retain Dr. Bright's consciousness even if the amulet is removed. As such, the O5 Council has put several versions of the doctor to work on secret foundation projects. And even though immortality sounds like a gift at first, it is also an affliction. The fact that he will outlive everyone else at the foundation has a very negative effect on his mind, and because of this, Bright secretly wishes he could expire. As such, he often takes unnecessary risks and performs reckless experiments. And of course, because of this, the O5 Council has compiled a very long list of things he isn't allowed to do. Also, he isn't the only member of the Bright family that is working for the Foundation. For example, his father and his uncle are members of the O5 Council, his brother is SCP-590, and his sister is SCP-321. However, despite of the fact that two members of the family are O5 members, SCP-590 and 321 don't get any preferential treatment. So as we see, the fate of Dr. Bright is quite tragic, because due to his immortality, he is forced to eternally work for the Foundation. Let's just hope that Dr. Bright remains loyal to the Foundation and that he doesn't take over SCP-682's body in order to vent his frustration. If you enjoyed this video, then go watch our top 5 SCP friendships video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.